Have you ever thought it would be nice to have complete control over your test chart and your Feropter from within one neat interface? Well, the waiting is over. The latest version of Test Chart Expert allows you complete control over your computerized test chart, plus complete control over a, a NIDEC or a Topcon Feropta. To connect the, your PC to the Feropta, you will need a, a cable, uh, but otherwise it's extremely simple to set up and indeed the engineers will do most of it for you. If you're going to be using the Feropta module, you will need a two screen setup, one screen for viewing the test chart, displaying the test chart, and a second screen in front of you are actually controlling the Feropta. So in this demonstration, I'm going to be showing you the Feropta module. So if you've purchased that uh, optional module, then you'll find there's an additional icon at the, the uh, toolbar in the toolbar at the bottom of the screen, which is labeled Feropta. And if you click on that, it will put up the Feropta interface. What we've tried to do with this interface is to make it as intuitive as possible. In fact, we've included a visualization of the, the lenses and the patient's eyes. So it looks very much like trial lenses. So you know exactly what lenses are in the Feropta at any moment in time. And that makes the transition between a trial frame and a Feropta that much easier. Or if you're transferring from one Feropta interface to this, I think you'll find it very straightforward. So let's just go through the aspects of the interface. You'll see at the top of the screen, you've got all the normal buttons uh, to control the test chart. And you have a little thumbnail of the test charts here. And indeed, as you move the mouse cursor over this thumbnail, it will also move a larger arrow to a corresponding point on the patient screen. So it makes it very easy to point at specific letters and to underline a particular row or whatever. Now, obviously this is quite a small thumbnail, so if you can't actually read some of the smaller letters, you can just click on show letters and it will tell you exactly what the letters are. So you have complete control over the test chart. All the normal functions are there. And uh, so now let's concentrate on the other aspects of the screen. Now, dealing with uh, just the simple control over the spheres and the sills uh, in each eye. It really is as simple as selecting the sphere or the sill that you want to change, and then using the mouse wheel, you simply dial in the lens that you require. Now, this is a very easy and very quick way to actually change the lens part. Unlike some Feropter interfaces where you have to step through each lens in 025 intervals, this will wait until the mouse wheel has finished moving and then move the lens to the new power in uh, just one move rather than stepping through it. So you'll also see as I'm changing the sphere there, it is actually showing uh, in the visualization here the lens that we've got in and also will change from red to black as you go from positive to negative. Same applies for the sills. If you want to dial in a sill, you can actually use this in either plus or minus sill uh, form. And as you change the axis of the sill, again, the visualization will change. And of course, this is being matched by the lenses in the Feropta. If you want to change both lenses together, the right and the left eye, you simply click on the, um, the box in between the two, and then both lenses will change together. So that really couldn't be much easier. If you, uh, when you come on to do the near add, you just click on add here. It then goes into near add mode. Uh, that will decrease the uh, centration distance of the Feropta and tilt the lenses inwards. And you can then uh, put in, dial in the near addition. It will also put on the uh, LED lights to illuminate the text the patient is looking at it all done automatically. If you want to change the add in one eye on its own, you simply click on that eye and adjust it on its own. And to go back into distance mode, you just click on one of these boxes above. So adjusting sphere and sill really is extremely straightforward. Adjusting PD, 
Uh, likewise, you just click on PD here and it will change the PD. Now, sometimes uh, it's you want to show the patient uh, the equivalent of a flipper lens. You want to show them a plus or minus 025 lens or plus or minus 050. So rather than actually changing the primary prescription here, you can do that with the, the flipper simulation here. So if I want to add just a plus 025 lens to the, the patient's right in front of the patient's right eye, I click on plus 025 and it even looks like a, a flipper lens. So if I want to show them is it uh, clearer with a plus 025 or a minus 025, I can simply do it like that rather than having to change the primary prescription of plus or minus 050. This is a, a very useful feature. Currently, this is uh, done monocularly. If I want to show a binocular flipper, as it were, a plus or minus 050 in front of both eyes, I select binocular here and plus 050, minus 050, and then no flipper. To cover one eye, you can either click on cover right eye like that, or you can simply click on the eye itself, cover the left eye. If you want to fog the right eye, you can do it like that, and you can actually select within the setup menu what power of fogging lens you want to use. For retinoscopy, you just click on RET, and it will put up the retinoscopy lenses automatically. And again, you can specify in the setup menu the power of the retinoscopy lenses that you want to use. When it comes to prisms, you just click on prisms here, and you've now got some additional boxes as shown, which show the horizontal and the vertical prism. So you just dial in the prism that you require, um, and then it's not yet incorporated in the Veropta, because it's a good idea to um, incorporate that in one go rather than to dial it up. So you set the prism that you want and then click on incorporated, and uh, the prism is shown as incorporated here. If you want to take it out in one go, you go like that. If you want to add prisms to both eyes, let's just reset this to uh, zero. If you want to now add prism to both eyes, I select binocular there, and then it will add uh, base out prism to both eyes, base in prism to both eyes, or base up and down prism vertically. So that really couldn't be much easier. To show auxiliary lenses or to insert auxiliary lenses, you just click on aux lenses there, then it will show the auxiliary lenses that are available within that particular proctor. So two different axes of polarized lenses, red green filters, uh, Maddox horizontal, Maddox vertical, uh, a cross cell and a, a vertical prism. And they will all show up in the visualization. So at any moment in time, you know exactly what lenses are in the Ferrocta. You can also add pinholes to the marking instruments. To do a cross cylinder test, then you simply say, select cross sill. Let's just get rid of the, the pinhole there. Cross sill. And uh, you can then, it shows up in front of the right eye at the moment, which is the eye we've got selected. To spin the cross sill, you click on spin cross sill there. You can see that it's rotating around. With the top confroctor, it has a slight red and green rim around the lens. So the patient gets a very slight green or red, red tinge. So instead of saying, is it clearer with lens one or two, you say, is it clearer with red or green? If they say green, you just click on the green here and the lens will automatically change according to the lens that's chosen. Now we're currently in power mode. So if I click on the green here, then you can see the power of the cross is changing. If I'm in axis mode and I spin it, is it clearer with red or green? And they say green will actually move the lens in the correct direction. You can also select a plus or minus 050 cross the lens, or uh, if the Ferrocta supports it, the, uh, the automated cross cell test. So that's cross cell, auxiliary lenses, and prisms. So we've covered most of the main aspects of controlling lenses within the Ferrocta. So if you want to do the um, a refraction manually, then you've got all the tools there that you are accustomed to in a very friendly 
uh, user interface. But one of the beauties of doing this under computer control is it does allow you to do some rather more clever things. Uh, for a start, we have an internal memory here, so you can store up to uh, seven different prescriptions, which currently are lab labeled final one, final two, rect, also refractor for some example, or rect one or rect two. Uh, this means you can just keep a memory of a prescription. So if the autorefractor has given you a certain reading here, uh, then you can, with click of a single button here, you can transfer that into the ferrot. You can then modif modify the prescription, and then if that's then going to be your final prescription, you can then zap it back from the ferrot into the memory. So you've still got the autorefractor memory there and then your new prescription there. And you can have up to seven different memories. You can also uh, import and export these prescription results into various practice management systems um, by a generic interface such as the optics system. That's a very powerful feature and it's one that we are currently continuing to develop. Now, another very powerful feature of this interface is the ability to set up what we call a program. And we select that by just clicking on Progs here at the bottom. And here, uh, what we've got is a complete examination. So it combines the lenses that are put into the Fropter with also the choice of test chart. So most of us would go through an eye examination in approximately the same sort of order. We'd all do it in slightly different ways, but you might want to measure unaided vision right eye to begin with. So if I click on that as our first thing in the routine, we're actually in a child routine at the moment. Let's put a, a normal program up here. So unaided vision right eye here, and then what it will do is cover the left eye and we'll put up a visual acuity stimulus here um, and also put in, make sure there are no lenses in the Veropter. Uh, if you want to measure the visual acuity with the old prescription, well, you can do so, a duochrome with the right eye, that's then cover the left eye and put up the duochrome test. So you can see that you can combine any lens or lens combination uh, with an appropriate test chart. Now, although we'll all essentially do much the same or come to much the same result, we tend to do it in rather different ways. And it is possible to actually set up uh, your own routine so you can decide the exact order that you want to do the test, the prescription that you incorporated at every stage of the program, and the lenses that you want in for each of those stages of the program. So this allows you to design a series of different routines um, and you then, during your routine, it is really made very much simpler by being able to, with a single click, display the test chart of your choice and also put the lenses of your choice uh, into the Feropter. So that's just a very brief overview of the way that the Feropter module works. The ability to actually have complete control over the test chart and the Feropter within one interface is really a novel feature and a lot of people believe that this is going to be the future of refraction. Thank you very much for listening.